Now, after you are set up and you have the MetaTrader running on a virtual account, as I suggested, and while you are waiting for the first trades to open, what you can do is to backtest the robot on MetaTrader itself. If I right click over the chart, I will go to Expert Advisors and I will hit on Strategy Tester. As well, you can do that pressing F6 on your keyboard and you will see the tester window opening below. Automatically, the dollar yen robot is selected, it is the dollar yen chart on M1 time frame. And here we have three different models, every tick, control points and open prices only. Now, open prices only is used when you have expert advisors that open trades at the opening of the bar. Just like with all expert advisors from EA Studio, every tick is a little bit tricky because on MetaTrader we don't have tick data. You need to get it from somewhere else. And the backtester on MetaTrader doesn't really work precise with ticks. So I'll be using control points. And with this strategy, it is a suitable method to use. Below we have the option to use date. For example, you can select to test since the beginning of uh, the year until today. Or if you uncheck it, you will test with all the data you have on the chart. Let me leave it this way and I will hit on start and it will start back testing the strategy. We will see some results. We already have a few. We will have a graph. It's starting positive. We will have the report and the journal. Now it will take a little bit longer compared to the expert advisors from EA Studio that you might know from my other courses that are way shorter when it comes to the code. And here we are using three different time frames. It's more entry conditions that we have. So the back tester is a little bit slower on MetaTrader. Now, while I'm waiting for the back test, I want to explain about this information that we see on the chart. And uh, this comes from the robot itself. As I told you, you don't need to put the indicators over the charts. You don't need to open M30 and H1 charts. The robot follows the indicators automatically. Here we see the values of the indicators and we see if we have confirmation or not. For example, right in here, we see the current values for the MACD on H1 chart. And it says, is long entry allowed? Yes. Is short entry allowed? No. So at this moment, the MACD line on hourly chart is above the signal line. And this is why we have the long entries allowed. On the M30, you can see that is the opposite. Is short entry allowed yes which means that on m30 MACD is below the signal line and we have confirmation to sell same thing with the moving averages we have yes for the short side and no for the long side so simply said we don't have confirmation from m30 and h1 and as well we have the values for the bands for the moving averages and you can see long position entry price, short position entry price. This is basically where we would enter if we have confirmation on bot. Okay, this is about it. You don't really need to do anything with it. You don't need to look at it if you will. But if you're just wondering what that is, it is displaying the indicators values and you can monitor the confirmations from here. Again, you don't need to open the charts, just what I showed in the previous videos. All right, now, as I said, the way I would suggest you to go is start with a demo account and you can back test with your broker. Now, there are hundreds and thousands of brokers, as I explained at the beginning of the course, and I do my best to keep the robot suitable for many brokers as possible. And obviously with some brokers, the backtest won't be satisfying because of the huge spread or simply because of their trading conditions. You can see that Pepperstone has a great spread for dollar yen. And the thing you can do is just to backtest it. Now the backtest is in the middle. So what I will do, I will just hit on the results and I will go to the graph and you can see that we had some positiveness 
then here the stop loss was hit positive stop loss again and from that moment we are just on a profit and if I hit on results we can see some of the trades that were open and closed with exact profit or loss that it performed and if I scroll let me see some results that we have as negative and compare them with what I see on FSB Pro. As I said the backtester there is very precise so let's see if Pepperstone backtester and uh, the date on Pepperstone is all right. So right here I will look just for some losing trades. Let's say I want to pick up losing trades. This one's over here. I have three positions. So it is one time we have sold and then two more times the robot added to the position. At the end of the day the stop loss was hit and we had three negative results summing somewhere above $250 right I'm not going to calculate it right now so this is on the 9th of March I will open the strategy in FSB Pro and I will go to journal this is where we have the statistics and the results from the trading and I'm going to look for the 9th of March here we go 9th of March is right in here and yes we have negative 257 you can see that we had one short trade that was opened and then the robot added two more times and we have a total loss of 257 and let's just compare the first trade where it was open the price was at 114.86. So let's see where was it opened. It is displayed a little bit different, but this is the first one that opened, right? It is a short trade at 114.88. Okay, so you see there is a slight difference between uh, the entry price. It was on the 4th of March at 7 p.m. and 18 minutes. Let me try to display bot on my screen so we can compare it. Okay, here it is. I think it is a perfect match. All right, so that is an example with losing trades. I'm not going to compare the rest because there might be slight difference as I have different data on FSB Pro and uh, the Pepperstone broker which I picked up randomly to demonstrate what you need to do if you start from scratch. But no matter which broker you are using, if you backtest the robot, okay, the complete backtest is over. And if you backtest the robot and you see satisfying results, it means your broker's data is all right or your broker's conditions are suitable for trading the robot. And you can see that I had one time, two time, three, four times, probably five times hitting the stop loss. But at the end of the day, it is on a profit. And if I go to the report, we will see that gross profit is 1,143. We have negative 774. So it is on a profit. We have a small drawdown of 4%. And what else? It's a lot of statistics right here. I'm not going through all of them. At the end of the day, what matters is the net profit, right? And in this case, it is a total net profit of 369.07. So this is how you can backtest the robot with your broker. No matter which broker you select, if it allows algo trading, it could be on MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, you can check the performance of the robot for the last months or the whole data period you have on MetaTrader.